Okay, so this is a basic Milky Way processing video of processing a single frame Milky Way image um, using multiple layers to be able to bring out the best of both the sky and the ground. So let's get started. So you need to navigate to where your file is and open up into Photoshop. Photoshop will open it up into the raw file editor. First thing you want to do is change the profile to Adobe Landscape. Then go down to Optics. Click both of these boxes. Typically, it should automatically bring up what lens you have from the exit data for the file. But if it doesn't automatically bring it up, you need to go scroll down by Lens Manufacturer and find your lens. In this case, I used a Sigma Art 14 millimeter lens. As soon as I select Sigma, it knows it. So there we go. Now we're going to go up, we're going to go to Detail, and we're going to hit Denoise. That's going to run Adobe's uh, Denoise AI, which is going to really clean up the image of any kind of high ISO noise that could be introduced. Um, this, this Adobe Noise AI is, is a game changer. You can see as you scroll around, you can see the differences that it's going to do. Well, I guess I was a little bit too quick there with the uh, the foreground stuff, plus it's a little dark. So it's going to take some time to do its thing. You will see the status bar in the bottom left there, a little blue there, showing you how far along that it's gone. You wait for it to do its thing. Once it is done, you will see, like you see in the bottom left there, the single image. Well, once it's done, you will see the second image next to it. And these are the only changes that you're going to do with the whole image file um, all together as one in the raw editor. All the other changes are going to be done individually to different layers. And so you've got that little wheel there next to where it says denoise 2 that also shows you the progress because that one shows you its progress a little bit better. And it's almost done. Ding! Fries are done. There's the second image right there. So hit open. Now, well, I'm going to close this here because I'm not using those filters on this. So, now you go up here, you go to Select, Sky, and it's going to automatically separate the sky. Go up there to, up there to Layer, New, New Layer via Copy. We're going to go down here, we'll rename it, rename it as Sky. And then we're going to do it again. Select. Mind you, notice that we selected on the background layer again because you don't want to select the sky layer and select sky because that's the only thing that's in that layer. So you have to select that background layer and then select sky. So we're doing it. And then we select inverse. That changes it because basically it can find the sky, but you want the foreground. Well, so tell it to select the sky, then select inverse. Now it's got just the foreground, the Earth selected. And now you're going to make another layer with that. New layer via copy. So we're going to edit just the sky layer here. Start off with the auto. See what kind of changes it brings. Open up the light tab. And let's look at it. Where let's let's give it a little bit of exposure here, brighten it up a little bit. And watch your histogram. See over here the blacks are clipping. So let's bring the blacks over just a little bit, but not too much because it's the sky. It's supposed to be dark. Bring the highlights up with the Milky Way to make it really pop, but don't overdo it. And bring the whites up some too. But again, don't overdo it. Play with the slider because you see like the areas on the horizon where you've got light from cities or something. If you overdo it too much, it'll bring that up too much. Let's bring the contrast up just a little bit. Give it just a little bit of clarity, not too much. Just, you know, make it spark a little bit better. And dehaze. Dehaze will bring out a little more contrast in the core. But definitely don't overdo it or you will, you'll blow it out. So just a little bit of dehaze. And that's pretty decent. All right, let's go to color. If we want to make some change with the color, play with your sliders a little bit. See if you move it towards the purple a little bit. Bring the temperature, adjust that. 
it definitely changes the color of the sky. Really, I think zero is probably pretty good. If we go back to that, we'll leave it there. Vibrance and saturation got changed when we did an auto, and I like those. We'll leave that. Now we'll go and we'll do the same thing. We'll select just the layer for the foreground. Camera raw filter. Now this one here, we're going to do more with the darks and the shadows. So we're going to hit auto, see what it looks like, and see how the darks are clipped, the blacks are clipped. So let's bring those blacks up. That definitely gives us more detail in the foreground. Bring the shadows up more. Look at that. We can actually see those trees and the bushes a little bit. So we bring them up. The whites, mm, you give the whites a little bit, especially for the snow and the reflections on the water. Look at your histogram as you're changing. Make sure that you're not, you know, blowing anything out on the end of the, the whites or the, the darks. Give the exposure a little bit of a bump here. Effects, we don't really need to mess with that here with this one. And But with the color, let's see if we change a little bit. See, give the sliders a little touch one way or the other. Maybe just a teeny bit cooler. Maybe bring the tint just a little bit that way. You know, it's all about preference. Vibrance and saturation, yeah, I think we'll leave those alone. And see again, we don't really need to mess with effects. And hit OK. And there you go. There's your basic image. Now, to blend it a little bit better, we'll go back here. We'll select on background. We'll do duplicate the layer. And that's going to be right above the background layer, behind the sky and the, the foreground. And we're going to turn off the other layers with the eyeballs there. We're going to go over here, and we're going to raw file edit on it. And we're going to do, basically what we want to do here is a in-between kind of medium edit between the two. So if we have any issues where the sky layer selection merges with the foreground, the ground, the earth layer selection, you know, sometimes it feathers it out a little bit and the opacity is a little bit lighter. Well, so you might have something that looks a little bit funky. In this case, we don't really. But just in case, we're going to go here and we're going to do a little bit of editing. Um, so we've got that underneath so that that can smooth out the transitions. So, again, we hit auto and now we're just playing with everything just a little bit. We're giving everything just a little bit of a a general overall edit with the sliders and that looks pretty decent and that's all we need so now let's go turn back on the other layers let's see look at that the foreground's better there sky's better there and voila that's all we got to do go up here and save this save it as a photoshop file in case i want to come back and edit it again later With all the layers, it'll take a little bit longer to save it. All right, and then let's just go for uh, sharing purposes. We'll flatten the image. Save as a copy. Save as a JPEG. We could put a something else on the end of the name, but save as a JPEG. I know what it is. And of course, that saves a lot quicker, and voila. That's it.